It is no secret that the Nigerian health system has been tested several times and found wanting in men, materials and infrastructure. This hybrid meeting is hosting health personnel to examine the problems and proffer solutions to drive policy. So we want to begin a season of listening. <laughs> We're not going to preach at anybody who's just going to listen because we know the stakeholders know what the problems are, even know the best solutions. But very often nobody asks them what the solutions should be. We've chosen to begin with healthcare. Doctors want the government to think about brain recirculation rather than drain and have better records. We make a lot of noise about brain drain, but then people have to start looking at it that for each person that leaves, how do we leverage the expertise that that person is getting wherever they are to help in um, uh, uh, providing more services for people um, in Nigeria? One major problem I know we have with, with regards to the... Um, side effects is that in Nigeria, we do not have any centralized uh, system to find out information. So you go to see your doctor or you go to your pharmacy, they don't know what you've had from Dr. A. You went to Dr. A, they gave you medications, it didn't work, and now you're creating more problem than you, 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 you intended to. So one problem that has dogged the health sector is professional rivalry, and participants say it's time for mutual respect and collaboration. One of the things I'm proposing is what we call advanced practice or expanding the roles of other healthcare professionals that are not doctors. For example, we need to actually, you understand, beef up the training for those community health essential workers up to a level where they can do lots of the stuff in the primary healthcare centers. There were also discussions around the recurring theme of the need for more funding to keep the sector furnished with manpower, equipment and infrastructure. Mary Alale Yusuf, Channels Television News. River State Governor Yesum Wike has assured residents of the state that multi-billion Naira flyover project at Rumakuta will not be abandoned. The governor gave the assurance during the flag off of the 11th flyover he says a significant amount of money had been spent, been paid to the contractor to ensure its completion. A special guest and former governor of Cross River State, uh, Donald Duke, applauded his host for his people-oriented projects while referring to him as a role model.